Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your custom domain name to your Minehut server. Okay, so we have our Minehut server. It's doing pretty well, but we're a little sick of the Minehut.gg thing and we want to make it our own thing, our own brand. So we want to show you guys how to do that. I just have to be me. Yes. So this tutorial is a little advanced, so be warned. We're assuming that you have your own custom domain. So for this one, I have drtshock.com and you know how to set that up. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so I have my server and I also have a domain drtshock.com and I have it on GoDaddy. So we're assuming that you've already purchased a domain and you've already put it on some sort of registrar where you have the name servers. In fact, perhaps you don't use GoDaddy, maybe you're using Cloudflare. We actually have an FAQ in the description with screenshots showing Cloudflare. And if you're using something else and need any help, just hop into the comments and we'd love to help you. Awesome. Okay, so now we are on our management panel and we need to add a DNS record. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click add. Now, the type of record that we need for this is SRV. What so, does that stand for? I don't know, to be honest. I got him. Ah, but it's the type of record that works for this. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, so now we are gonna type in <laughs> for the my service. Name. <laughs> Hello, Michael Allman. <laughs> Minecraft, underscore Minecraft is a service. Very important that you have the underscore there. The protocol is underscore TCP. Again, very important that you have the underscore there. Now, the name of this is what we want the server name to be. So my domain is drtshock.com. I wanna do play.drtshock.com, nice and easy. So I am gonna do just play as the name. And then the target is actually what it's pointing at. Mm. So for this one, it's mhtut. Dot minehut dot gg. So that's the name of your Minehut server currently. Yes, that is the name, the Minehut.gg domain for your server. For priority, we're gonna put one. For weight, we're gonna put one. Don't ask me exactly why, that's just what we do. Okay. And then on the port, we're gonna put 25565, of course. And then the TTL, we can just leave at whatever it's at. And then we click save. Hey, I know what SRV means. What does it mean? Server. Nice, I don't think so. Uh, okay, there we go, we click save. Now, depending on what you're using for this, it might take a little bit for it to update and have it be able to read it on your machine, but we're gonna go now, exit out of the server, mm -hmm. and now what we should be able to do is add our server, play.drtshock.com, and it should show up in the list. There it is. Whoa. Shows up in the list. It World's has our MOTD. Best tutorial server. Absolutely. In fact, if you don't know how to make your server look pretty like that, we have a different video for you to check out on our channel. There's a world's best tutorial for that. Okay, so now all we have to do is join our server. And that's it. So that we just joined through play.drtshock.com and it brought us to our Minehut server. And that is how you set up a custom domain name to join your Minehut server.